My name is Brian Doak. I'm a professor here at George Fox University and I'm also the director of George Fox Digital. In this little video, we wanna take you behind the scenes at George Fox Digital, tell you a little bit about what we've been up to and show you our studio space. When the pandemic hit, we had to answer a really important question. What are we gonna do about students who want to have a George Fox University experience? They wanna be known, they wanna have the encounter that we want them to have, but they can't come on campus. They can't live residentially. The answer that we came up with really quickly was that we would offer a set of fully online classes where students could stay wherever they are, around the world or even right here near Newburgh, and they could take classes without ever having to come to campus. In order to pull this off, we had to do a lot of things really, really quickly. We had to identify the courses that students would take in that first year general education experience. We had to do a lot of networking and talking and have endless meetings with departments and faculty to find out which would be the best courses to offer. We ran around campus scavenging offices, finding bookshelves, furniture, soundproofing, books, props, and set up this space in the Barclay House in the lower floor. Right above us is spiritual life, and down here we've been given um, this space as a studio, and this is where we've been making some of the magic happen. We didn't know how many students would take advantage of a program like this, a first year fully digital program. Would it be five students, 100 students? We realized that we'd need to have around 25 students for this to make financial sense for the students and for the university. We ended up having about 40, which is really encouraging. And this, this group of 40 became our pilot group of students moving their way through the George Fox digital classes. How did we identify the courses to put in this package or the instructors? Well, it was a pretty organic process in a way. Um, as I said, we had to find courses that would fit into a student's schedule that would make sense for a first year experience. But then we also had to find instructors who were not just already professionals at digital teaching or online teaching, but people who were willing to take risks. People who were willing to be vulnerable in front of a camera. People who were willing to work with an organizational structure that meant formatting their course in a particular way so that students who were taking multiple online courses at the same time would have a lot of familiarity from course to course. It was really a special group of instructors that we recruited. I'm so proud of the work that they did and are still doing to really make this work for our students. There are a lot of misconceptions about online education. One misconception is that it's kind of like robots are flying around in the sky and it's a totally disembodied uh, process and no one ever gets to meet anyone and there's no sense of encounter. If that were true of our George Fox digital classes, that would be a huge problem because our very existence as a university, I think, is predicated on a sense of encounter of a deep encounter between people and a deeper encounter between people and God. We needed to find a way to communicate that to students through our classes and using a lot of really high fidelity video and audio was one way, not the only way, but one way that we could communicate to students that we care and that we're here for them. And I think we've been doing a really good job with that so far. Hello, my name is Min Choi. I'm a video producer here at George Fox Digital. I've been with the team since early summer and I've had the unique opportunity to experience just how far we've come up to this point in the year. When we first started, we had a very, very small team. And what I've experienced over these last few months is the commitment from George Fox University and its leadership in wanting to innovate and commit to building this new way of looking at education. The resources and support that we have been given has led us to building a bigger team. We now have a fantastic second videographer, Craig Pruitt, who is with us. And we have uh, the opportunity to hire additional student workers. Our team is very, very proud of what we've accomplished so far, but we're also just super excited about what's ahead. As we think about not only spring semester, but also the years to come, we're really hoping to be a part of how George Fox University integrates digital and virtual spaces into their educational process. The overall goal of George Fox Digital has been to help George Fox grow and enhance their online learning portfolio. We wanted faculty to learn how to grow as online instructors. So faculty, the entire faculty at George Fox were offered options for how to grow as an online instructor. That could be through learning great new apps and methods of delivery, or it could be just learning how to organize your course in a way that makes sense to online learners. We've been able to collect assessment data for the student experience so far. And for George Fox Digital students, we are happy to say that their experience has been overwhelmingly positive. 
When it comes to overall value of their learning experience, students gave George Fox Digital 9.23 out of a possible 10 points. We are really excited about that because we wanted to offer an online learning experience that made sense financially for students, especially in these times. When it came to the famous George Fox Be Known Promise, students gave George Fox Digital eight out of 10. When it came to overall satisfaction with their experience at George Fox Digital, students rated us at an 8.2. A personal goal that we've had here at George Fox Digital is we wanna be companions with students in a very turbulent time in their lives. Uh, 2020 is not the year that any of us expected, and the students have already been through a tremendous amount of upheaval in their lives. And so we're really excited um, just to be with students digitally, whether it's through a podcast, through a video, through an online discussion. We're with them, and we're, we consider that a privilege and an honor. Okay, so where do we go from here? How are we going to continue to innovate? First, we know that whatever we do, we're gonna do it firmly in the center of the university's mission, to be a Christ-centered community and to prepare students to serve their communities with passion and clarity and integrity. Whatever we do, we're committed to that at George Fox Digital. Second, we wanna be a home base for thinking about teaching. We really wanna be, in a way, a laboratory where instructors can come, they can try new things, they can think about how they would integrate video and podcast elements into their course, they can think about course design. What do students need to know and when do they need to know it and how to get into the right rhythm for teaching? If we can help our faculty do that through George Fox Digital in the coming year, that is gonna be a really good thing for our university. Finally, as we look to the future, we know that we're going to want to teach online and digitally more, probably and not less. Because of that, George Fox Digital is going to have to be committed to helping the university expand and enrich its digital portfolio. We all know that the educational landscape we face is a competitive one. And George Fox Digital is going to help the university ensure that we remain competitive, indeed leaders, in this style of education going forward into the future. Hey, if you're in the area, come drop by the studio. We'd love to have you in here and give you a tour and show you the ways in which we're working really hard to try to light students' hearts on fire for God and for learning. <laughs>